Who is this man, you may be asking? Well, this man is St. Augustine of Hippo. Um, I meant to print out the full picture, but my printer stopped working, so this is all we get. St. Augustine lived a very different life than most people would expect for that of a saint. He was born in the year 354 AD to St. Monica and a high-ranking pagan official. Because of the way he was brought up, he became very knowledgeable, especially in the ways of rhetoric. At the age of 19, St. Augustine had met a girl in Carthage and bore a child with her out of wedlock. Homie, we got a kid. We got a what? <laughs> St. Augustine was also known to have lived a very sinful life full of many pleasures. He continued in Carthage learning and then eventually became a teacher where he became so good in the ways of rhetoric and his ways of arguing were so well known that he eventually went to Milan to learn further. While learning in Milan, Augustine was introduced to many different ideas and religions and most importantly he was introduced to the man who would change his life the most, St. Ambrose of Milan. St. Ambrose invited St. Augustine to think outside of the box and, and get the bigger picture when it came to his rhetoric and his writing, and that's how he introduced him to God and eventually converted him. Yo, what's up, man? Oh, Ambrose! Hey, yo, what's, 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 up, what's up, bro? Up, yo? Hey, um, you heard about God? Nah, man, I, I don't really give much attention to God. I'm just, a, I'm just a writer. I don't really, you know, it's impossible to live up to, like, the Christian ideals. Nah, dude. Um, so, what, what what do you know about God? What what do you know about him? Do you know I, that I Jesus know. is your Lord and Savior? I mean, like, he died for your sins. Sure, I can see that. Like, I've I've been telling God, like, I'll give you, you know, I'll let you into my life, maybe, but like, not right now, you know. No, do it right like now, it. right take, now. Take that writing, yes, and write about God. Write about God. Write about God. Are you serious? Yeah. That I never really thought about that. Just I just do it right now. Right. Okay. Let me let me see. Uh, what? How does that look? That looks amazing. All right. Well, shoot. Okay, I never looked at it this way. Thank you so much, my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back here. No, no problem. St. Augustine eventually decided to devote his writing to Christianity and applied himself to prayer heavily. Many people began to regard him as the greatest Christian writer of all time. Wait, wait, yo, yo, yo. Are you the greatest Christian writer of all time? I think you are the greatest Christian writer of all time. That's me. The greatest Christian writer of all time. Eventually, he became the Bishop of Hippo. Behold, I am the Bishop of Hippo. Aside from this, he is also said to have been very skilled at basketball. Just kidding, I made that last part up. They didn't have basketball for another thousand years. Augustine went on to create such writings as On Christian Doctrine and The City of God, and also as the patron saint of vices or habits people wish to break. Near the time of Augustine's death, a group called the Vandals were invading Hippo. He died in 430 AD at age 75 to what most people believe to be a fever. Uh, I'm dying of some sort of fever or disease. Uh, I'm not sure. I hope you save me, God. Take good care of me and always remember, God bless and go Eagles. There are many things we can learn from St. Augustine of Hippo, but I think the number one thing is that true happiness can only be achieved through God the Father. Now, St. Augustine is definitely no brilliant, shining example of how to live, at least like for most of his life, because he was said to be a heretic for the first 33 years of his life. But I, I think he serves as a better example of people that often fall short in the eyes of God. Um, it's, it's, he lived a very sinful life, like I said, up to, up to that point in which he decided to, uh, you know, devote himself to Christianity. But uh, it shows us that if you really pursue God, um, you can find more happiness from that than worldly pleasures or indulgences. So that about wraps up St. Augustine of Hippo. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I don't know, have a good one.